just mindset once you're mature enough to ride go for it go for a 1000 cc and I'm, I'm gonna further explain why um, so next thing next biggest thing uh, comparing these bikes uh, to a 600 class is out of the box these bikes come with the most advanced electronics ever um, put on the super bike in this modern era it's going to come with traction control ABS, wheel control, slide control launch control you know some of these higher end premium bikes uh, will come with Olin's suspension. Um, these two both have Olin's EC2 electronically adapted suspension. Adapt, it adapts to your weight, the road, everything. Um, in seconds, the computer does all the work, uh, does all the um, the traction control, ABS. If you slam your front brakes, you're not or rear brakes, you're not going to lock it up. You know, it's got all these rider modes. Let's say you're starting out. Um, for watching this video, it's got all these rider modes that'll keep you safe. Um, let's say you're starting out on a leader bike, your first day, you know, put it on B mode. That's not a problem. Put it on C mode or whatever the mode is for whatever manufacturer. Um, and it'll, it'll tune down to ECU for sure. Um, granted, with this Aprilia, don't quote me on this. Um, and if any of you guys own Aprilias, jump in in the comments and tell me I'm wrong. Um, and then, um, um, RSV4, I believe it's straight up full power. Uh, you, you can adjust the traction control, wheel control, ABS. Um, those are the things you can adjust. Um, this bike, more or less, it's more, there's more you can adjust in terms of like power and just the, the different rider modes. You can definitely customize it, um, to your liking. Um, the power distribution you can definitely manipulate you can have it's going to have full power nonetheless but the way it delivers it um, depending on how much you twist the throttle varies on which mode you're in so for this uh panigale so that's the thing all manufacturers have some sort way shape or form of rider mode so that's the thing um, and electronics, it's going to have, like I said, it's going to have advanced electronics out of the box. Um, these leader bikes, man, um, obviously the power is there, but the electronics are also there to make sure that you stay safe and upright. Um, next thing, insurance. Insurance for these bikes, believe it or not, it's less than a 600. I used to own a 636 2020 ABS. I have no um, no prior speeding tickets. I mean, one back in 2012, which was ages ago, um, but that was on the car. Anyways, not on wood. Insurance for the 636, 150 a month, full coverage, Geico. I'm approaching 30 years old. Um, that was way too much uh, for a 600 because a lot of you guys um, don't know or may know insurance companies they go go off of algorithms and they go off of statistics fact of the matter is 600s are a lot cheaper um, and they're more available for the majority of the riders here um, in the world and therefore the statistics of accidents are going to be a lot higher than leader bikes period dot um these um uh for a leader bike for this for the aprilia it's roughly 100 bucks and then this this thing is just under 100 bucks a month um definitely significantly less than the 600 which to me at the time didn't make sense but i thought about it they go off numbers the lady, the lady was explaining to me it's all metrics that's insurance leader bikes are gonna be cheaper for the most part not every aspect to just definitely make sure you could afford insurance next um pricing i would say yeah they do come with a premium price however what you get is totally worth it like i said electronics the braking the power um all advanced electronics are already there and you've got the power to add on top of it also also if like me um when I was the, when I had the 600, 
I pretty much wanted more. You know, we're creatures of habit. We want the biggest, baddest thing. Once we get comfortable and bored of what we already have, we dropped our toys and get a bigger toy. That's pretty much human nature. So if you do get a 1000 CC and that you like, that you genuinely love, you're not gonna freaking look at another thing. It's kind of like getting a really awesome partner, you know? I mean, they, if they are the shit, they're awesome. You don't need to go, you don't need to look elsewhere. You got the perfect package. You don't need to upgrade. I mean, if you get anything else, it's gonna be a downgrade. So get a thousand CC. Um, next, gas mileage. Surprisingly, this thing gets pretty damn good gas mileage. It's um, on the Ducati, I get 58 on the highway, on the city, high 40s, low 50s on the city. Um, the Prilly is a little bit more um, eco-friendly, I guess, because it's got a race map, a race tune, and a slip-on. This one's pretty much bone stock, but gas mileage is not bad. I thought I thought these guys were tanks at first, you know, like 10 miles to a gallon, 20 miles. For the most part, most leader bikes, with the exception of the Ninja H2, are pretty much fuel efficient, so it's not bad for commuting. Speaking of commuting, um, it's not bad at all. Low speeds, you're gonna have to ride the clutch a little bit, but it's it, you'll just get used to it. Uh, the 600s, yeah, it's a little bit more smooth because it's inline, um, but there are inline six, or uh, excuse me, there are inline 1,000 CCs out there available, i.e. Honda CBR, um, 1000, the CBR 1000 double R, triple R, whatever you want to call it. Um, Yamaha R1 is a cross plane motor. The uh, Kawasaki is an inline. So most, most of those guys are super smooth. This Ducati is butter smooth. Like the quick shifter is unbelievably good. Um, speaking of, leader bikes mostly come with quick shifter up and down. So quick shifter auto blipper out the box. You don't need to buy all these upgrades long before you know it if you do buy um a 600 class you're gonna have to do add all these upgrades add all these things and things add up man uh, parts aren't cheap so long before you know it um you've got you've already spent thousands just to just to get decent parts so that you could ride better and ride more um efficiently i guess um, that's the thing unless you're racing 600 uh, super sport and you want to just get a 600 by all means um, but as far as overall rideability this thing is a complete package you got the power you got the rideability you got comfort this thing right here the aprilia has got cruise control like my car has cruise control that's it's comfortable you know it's not it's not bad at all it's not bad on your wrists um this one doesn't have cruise control but i mean if you could look at it both these bikes are aesthetically aesthetically pleasing i could just sit here all day on the front of the house just chill looks comfort um overall rideability flickability which brings me to the next um point it's amazing how flickable, especially this Aprilia. This thing feels so light, and you could toss it around left and right. Um, feels like a little 600, even less. Um, but the power it makes is ridiculous. Uh, very, it's a, truly a track weapon for sure. Street, you can use it on the street. This Ducati, it feels a lot stable, like more stable. Um, on on the on the higher speeds, it's it feels so planted. Um, on the turns, the straight runs, um, it feels super planted. That's the thing. Uh, what else? Talking about pricing, um, all the all the goodies that come along with the with the leader bikes, and just overall. Last but definitely not the least. Um, you know, you roll up with your buddies, right? I mean most most of them gonna have 1000 cc and your mind is gonna be like i want one of those and next thing you know you're spending 20 25 000 on top of the 600 class that you've already bought now you're forced to lose money to sell that thing learn from me get a leader bike again just to wrap things up this is all straight up experience and opinion 
um, take the BRC1, BRC2 class, respect the bike, respect it, have a good mindset, positive attitude, don't ride when you're feeling obviously um, troubled or you had something happen. Um, they teach you all that, BRC1, BRC2. It's got all the right, we talked about the rider modes, the, the goodies that come along with it, the premium pricing, how it's like one of the best bang for the buck um, things you can get, um, how everything's phasing out and most m motorbikes or motorbike companies are focusing their attention towards the leader bike world, whereas because like the, the 600s are slowly dying out, um, so parts are going to be scarce. scarce. Um, just keep all these things in mind and um but yeah we pretty much talked about also fuel fuel economy rideability flickability comfort all this shebang um all these reasons why these these bikes are a must um for starters you know so cool man uh definitely wanted to keep this video under 15 minutes so Hit me up on the comments, like, and subscribe. I love uh, making these videos for you guys. And uh, thanks for tuning in, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.